Hey guys, it's James from gigapress.net. Have you encountered this 500 internal server error on your WordPress site? If this happens, you may worry about how to get your site back to normal. But don't worry, in this video, you'll be learning how to fix the 500 internal server error in WordPress. But why does this error happen on your site? The 500 internal server error comes up when the server cannot complete a request for unexpected reasons. The issue stems from a failed HTTP request. When you or another user tries to interact with your WordPress site, your browser automatically sends a series of HTTP headers containing your content requests. Your site will then send back HTTP responses containing the content. If this process fails, it may throw the 500 internal server error or may have slightly different code, such as HTTP 500, 500 internal server error, sorry, something went wrong, or 500 error. Why do you need to fix this error quickly? If a search engine such as Google picks up that your site is down, this can affect your overall rankings and make your website harder to find. So, fixing this error as quickly as possible is important for search engine optimization SEO purposes. So, here are the six methods you can use to fix this problem. Method one, reload the page. This is the quickest way to troubleshoot the error. Reloading the page can solve the issue if the host or server is temporarily overloaded. To do this, simply click on the refresh button in your browser. If reloading your page doesn't resolve the problem, you may want to check your site on downforeveryoneorjustme.com. This page enables you to type in your address and check if other users also have issues loading your site. If the problem persists, try the next method. Method two, clear your cache. Sometimes the cache files can become corrupted if you haven't cleared them in a while. And this can interfere with your browser and prevent it from properly loading your WordPress site. If you're using Google Chrome, start by clicking on the three dots at the top of your browser window, then select Settings at the bottom. Click on Privacy and Security, then Delete Browsing Data. This will bring you to a new window that gives you the option to clear your browsing history, cookies, and cached files. You can select the data you want to clear by checking the boxes. Additionally, you can use the drop-down menu to choose the time range. Once you're happy with your selections, click on Delete Data to complete the process. Alternatively, you can click on the Advanced tab to clear your cache by category. For example, if you just want to select cookies and other site data. When you've successfully cleared your cache, load your WordPress site again to see if it works. This process is different if you're using Safari, Firefox, or Internet Explorer. Find the link in the description below to see how to clear cache for all major browsers. Again, if the problem persists, move on to the next method. Method three, check your error logs. Your server logs can sometimes show you details about this error, including its causes. If you use this method, you may be able to troubleshoot the problem and solve it faster. You can do this by accessing your site via File Transfer Protocol, FTP, Secure Shell, SSH, or the control panel in your hosting account. If you opt for an FTP client, I recommend using FileZilla. Click the link in the description to see the process of installing FileZilla on your computer and connecting to your website server. Once you're connected, head to the root folder of your site and find your wp-config.php file. Open the file in a text editor and search for this line of code, wp underscore debug false. Select it and replace it with this code, slash slash enable wp underscore debug mode, define wp underscore debug true, slash slash Enable debug logging to the slash wp content slash debug dot log file. Define wp underscore debug underscore log true. Slash slash disable display of errors and warnings. Define wp underscore debug underscore display false at ini underscore set display underscore errors zero. Save the file to apply the changes. Now go back to your site and reload it to trigger the 500 internal server error. Go back to your FTP client and open the wp-content folder. Look for a file named debug.log and open it. This file should provide some information about what's causing the 500 internal server error on your site. Method four, troubleshoot your plugins. 
WordPress plugins can sometimes lead to a 500 internal server error if they contain faulty code or have security issues that disrupt your website's functionality. If you're facing this error, try deactivating your plugins, especially if you've recently installed or updated them. In this case, you'll need to access the plugin files using FileZilla. Then, navigate to wp-content and locate your plugins folder. If you rename it to plugins underscore disable, this will disable all of your plugins. Now try reloading your site. If it works, then you're probably dealing with a faulty plugin. To find the culprit, you'll need to test each plugin one at a time. Start by renaming your plugins folder back to plugins. Then open the folder and disable each plugin by renaming its folder. Every time you disable a plugin, refresh your site to see if it's the one that's causing problems. Keep doing this until you find the faulty plugin. Method 5. Increase the PHP memory limit. Increasing the PHP memory limit in your .htaccess file can give your site a little more power to run its processes. You can access this file using FileZilla. Open .htaccess in your text editor and enter the following code. PHP underscore value memory underscore limit 256M. For example, you may choose 256 megabytes, as you can see on the code, which is double the default amount. You can change the amount of memory that you want to allocate. Then save the file and reload your WordPress site to see if it fixes the problem. If the problem persists, let's proceed to the last method. Contact your hosting provider for assistance. If none of the five solutions works, there could be an issue with the servers of your hosting provider. Contacting your provider can be helpful. Good thing, GigaPress Web Hosting can provide the assistance you need. Their dedicated professionals are ready to assist you with any hosting needs or questions. Whether you use live chat, phone, or support ticket, they have some of the quickest time to resolution metrics in the industry. Check their hosting plans at gigapress.net slash webhosting and get the perfectly suited hosting for your website needs. And that's it. Do you remember the six methods to fix the 500 internal server error in WordPress? Reload the page, clear your browser cache, check your error logs, troubleshoot your plugins, increase the PHP memory limit, and lastly, contact your hosting provider for assistance. For more WordPress tutorials, our free WordPress masterclass, and fast and reliable web hosting, visit gigapress.net. Thank you, and see you next time.